Hi everybody, it's Ruthie from the Popo Backyard Farm, and I have with me, and I want to share with you, Oreo. Now, Oreo is one of the guinea pigs that we had brought into the house, and um, he may be up for adoption. He was a little bit bigger, so he may end up being a permanent resident, which is perfectly fine. He's as cute as can be. He was he's really um coming out of his shell. He sometimes curls up into like a little ball because I don't think that he was ever handled before he came he came to us. So he came with a little piggy that had um scurvy if you've been watching us and you saw us nurse him back to health. But he's cute. Now, some people like a guinea pig that has, like, let me see if I can move you around here, Ori. I don't want to scare you, honey. They have more of a, a beaver face. And I don't know if you can see his little beaver face compared to what some people call a rat face. So, I'm a lot like Ellie Mae Clampett. <laughs> and even though I'm a city girl, in fact, um, people used to kid with me years ago and call me Ellie Mae because I just love animals. And so... Um, I'm pretty good, like, when I've had um, different pets I've had in the past, I've had, like, I had a cockatiel one time that went outside and actually came back to me, which is pretty rare, because once a bird goes out the window, that's the end of them. I think somebody opened up the window and my cockatiel was out, and he went out with it. So, I wanted to share with you Oreo. Now, part of the things that go on at our farm, and, is, and Clay and I have debated about some of this, um, but I've had different feedback from different people. And um, one of the things that I do to farm and stay home and help my farm, and just so you can kind of get a picture of what goes on at the Popo Farm, is I do PR, and I run the home, and I help with the animals. And um, I do product reviews as well as um, other PR activities to, you know, so that I can stay home and also help my family to get ahead. I do the freebies, I extreme coupon and all that. And that's a story as we talk about things, um, Clay and I will, you know, can share more with you um, about some of that. Um, you know, I'll just leave this little tip that we were actually approached by, um, um, we had actually like talked to the, uh, what are they, the extreme couponer people. But, you know, really, to us, you know, I can extreme coupon. Anybody can extreme coupon. The thing with that type of thing is, um, and my this has always been my philosophy. If you can't use it, um, you need to share it and and help others. And pretty much um, at this point in my life, I only have enough for my family because if I can't, um, if there's no reason to have it in the house. Um, I just immediately bring it to the community center because I can't store things. But I'm not doing near as much extreme couponing as I have in the past. And um, and to be quite honest with you, one of the reasons I don't is because it does cost a little bit. It's not free to get your newspapers and all that type of thing. And right now, there's just I don't have a need for a lot of things. I mean, we always can need need stuff, but not to do the extreme couponing at that level. But after the new year, I may start doing some more of that, too. So um, I do think, to be honest with you, the farming ways, which is so you can see our background here. Like, example, I'd much rather store up tomatoes and dehydrate them and freeze them than to buy prepared food um, and stuff like that because um, I want my family to eat healthy. But these are things that we'll talk about on our channel as we do different things. Now, I wanted to share a product that did come to us, and uh, this was from Seba Med. I heard a lot of good things about them. Um, I kind of got concerned when I heard Med. It's like, ooh, is that medicine? But this, these products, I heard people were raving about how nice the the skincare was. So definitely I wanted to try all the different types of products that they had. And so I'm reviewing these 
with them and I'm finding that they're really very very nice they have bar soap uh, body lotion all types of products um, the eye products and you know I was in the beauty industry for 20 years um, I sold in direct sales I've always been a salesperson so I sold in direct sales and regular sales but uh, I sold cosmetics for a long time um, I'm a born salesperson. I just love products and all that type of thing. So, anyway, that being said, if you haven't tried this brand, I would definitely suggest trying it because I think you're going to be pleased with it. There's my little phone going off. It's just, it's we've been getting a lot of sales calls and things like that because I'm also a sweet staker. So I'll let that go to voicemail. <laughs> so, anyway. I wanted to share that aspect of what we do on the farm, and we have a lot of that on the blog at purplebackyardfarm.blogspot.com. So if you're not getting freebies and things like that, because our goal, as I've stated before, is to teach life skills so that you can have a better life. So maybe you want to build a new chicken coop or something like that, and that can be possible, say, if you want a sweepstake or if you've been um, stockpiling your garden all year long or you bought all your cleansing and cleaning supplies to extreme couponing. Um, part of being a woman, I think of the Proverbs 31 woman, is learning to manage your home. I mean, there's always much more to do. You know, sometimes there, my load seems overloaded, but then it all kind of catches up because I also, you know, believe in things like I take... I don't necessarily take care of her, but I make sure I visit my mother and phone her every day and things like that. So these are just some thoughts from a backyard farmer's wife and what goes on and uh, but I do you know enjoy my life I I um, you know take one day at a time every day is an adventure when you live on a backyard farm for sure and uh, plus coming from my background of being in the city or suburbs you know um, it I have a lot of um, how do I put it business savvy and things like that but I'm really laid back right now you can just see I'm just in my play clothes I've got some dirty dishes I got to catch up on because of our schedule sometimes dishes get crazy here because of uh, a lot of cooking goes on you know so it seems like I clean out the pan and then if something else that goes in there we have a dishwasher but it takes like oh my goodness our dishwasher takes forever but and I wash them by hand sometimes too but sometimes there's errands and things to be done. But anyway, this is Oreo, and uh, he is coming right along. He was even giving me some squeaks today, so I'm really pleased with that. And I hate to, you know, I, I almost hate to have somebody adopt him, but if somebody does adopt him, that's, you know, good for them and good for, for uh, Oreo. But I certainly uh, would love to keep him forever. Yeah, I would. So, but like I said, I usually, you know, will keep them. I love my guinea pigs. I'm, I'm not a rescue. I'm a farmer. So the guinea pigs are welcome to stay here. But if, you know, like I said, we try to budget everything that we do here at the farm and make everything run smooth, you know, as we can. So later on this weekend, too, Clay and I are going to be um, boiling up those quail eggs. Older eggs are better to hard boil, so we kind of waited until the weekend before we um, hard boiled them. We wanted to see how that would be. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. Subscribe, like, please share this video on your Facebook and Twitter channel. And uh, please grab freebies on our site. Um, and I'll even show you how to get freebies. I Basically, that's we're about helping people. So I'll show you how to do everything that we can to help you live a better life. So God bless and have a wonderful day.